Hi friends, it's Dana here. It is almost summertime and I hope that your summertime travels bring you to some beach somewhere because that's the thing I like to do best in summer is visit a beach, whether it be a ocean beach or a lake beach. Both have these wonderful things called seashells at them. The shells can be varied. Sometimes they look like little snail shells, or they can be little clammy type things, or any of the ones you see on this page, really. And I like to pick them up and look at them and dream about the little animal that lived inside of it and think about, did it like its shell? Was it comfortable in there? Was it cozy or was it cramped? That's what I like to think about. And if there's a little living thing inside that shell, I usually put it back so it could live some more. Well, I hope you get to find some shells this summer or maybe even this spring or fall, any time of year, all of these mollusks like to live near the seashore. So let's read all about it. It's called Seashells More Than a Home. It's by Melissa Stewart and illustrated by Sarah Brannon. Here we go. Every day, seashells wash up on beaches all over Earth, like treasures from a secret world beneath the waves. Spiraled or spiky, round or rigid, shells come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and all the colors of the rainbow. That's because seashells have so many different jobs to do. Seashells can rise and sink like a submarine. or hold steady like an anchor. Seashells can pry like a crowbar or bore holes like a drill bit. Seashells can flit and flutter like a butterfly or curl up tight like an armadillo. Seashells can let in light like a window or belch out waste like a ship's smokestack. Seashells can wear disguises like a spy or hide in plain sight like a soldier in camel clothing. Seashells can open up like your mouth and close quickly like your eyelids. Seashells can send out a warning like a signal from a lighthouse or smash other shells like crashing waves against the shore. But most of all, hard, strong seashells make good homes. They protect like a fortress, keeping mollusks safe in their underwater world. These are the different kinds of seashells. Many ocean animals and freshwater ones have shells, but the word seashell usually refers to the hard covering that protects a mollusk. A mollusk is a soft-bodied legless animal Many mollusks move around on a muscular foot. The five largest groups of mollusks are bivalves, cephalopods, chitons, gastropods, and scaphopods. Oh, I don't even know I knew about those last ones. <laughs> Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed seeing all these different ways that seashells can live. And I hope you find some seashells of your own this summer. And if you wanted to read more about each type, like the one that was a little army guy with camouflage, you can probably check this book out from your library. That's how I got it. Or you can always just go on to Amazon or anywhere else and buy it. But I would check your library first. Thank you so much for reading with me, friends. If you enjoyed this book, please give it a thumbs up and a like, and it'll give you some little fireworks right on the screen there for you. And if you'd subscribe to me, you can see more books just like this, and we can read together anytime. Thank you so much, friends, for reading with me. I hope you have a great day. Bye.